Hello everyone, it's Helen here with Helping with Helen. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to talk about the most recent COVID variant strain that is going around the nation right now. Some are calling it the KP311 and others are referring to it as the flirt. I only know this because I came across these names while I was researching the symptoms and things to look for with this new strain. The one thing that I can tell you about this particular strain is, is that it is highly contagious and it is extremely fast moving. So that we know for certain. My husband had been visiting family who had been sick prior to him going down there and he had left on a Friday night. He was home on Sunday and that evening he said, I'm feeling off. I'm feeling fatigued. I don't feel right. He woke up the next morning and he said, I think I have the COVID. And I know a lot of people are like so overhearing about the COVID because they're like, it is a cold and flu. And I get that. I do. However, if you've had the COVID, you already know there's just something just a little bit different about the COVID. You can't put your thumb on it, but you're like, mm, there's something different about it. I think I have the COVID. Now, granted, it's in the summer. We're in the heat of the summer. So already he doesn't ever get sick in the summertime. So already he already knew like something's different here, but also by the way he was feeling because he said, I have not felt like this or been sick like this in the summer since I had the COVID. That would have been three years ago, maybe a little over three years ago when we had the original COVID. And so we lost our taste and our smell and we actually got really sick with that first one. And so there was just something obviously with the way he was feeling though, that resembled that because he was like, mm, I think I have the COVID. And so we ended up getting him swabbed and immediately that thing lit up like a firecracker. It was like, ding, ding. It was bright red, double line you have the COVID. And so I knew that if he had the COVID, I was going to get the COVID, my son was going to get the COVID, and everybody that we've been around was probably going to get the COVID. So again, the one thing that I can tell you about this particular strain is it is so fast moving, including the symptoms. In fact, the symptoms came on like a freight train for all of us. And it was in chronological order. Like we, all of us kind of dealt with the same things at the same pace. It was like, boom, boom, boom. And so for him, it was immediate. It was sore throat, headache, congestion, cough, fever, achiness. Obviously, like I said, the fatigue side of it was really, really heavy. So all of the things that you'll experience when you have a pretty bad flu. The thing that I noticed about this though particular strain was is even though those symptoms came on so fast where we all felt really yucky those first few days after getting it, it went away relatively fast. So again, on every level, we have come to see that this thing was really, really, fast from the onset of the symptoms to the symptoms leaving us. And so that at least was a good thing because when you started feeling better, it almost felt like it was immediate. Even though you had some residual things you were still dealing with, with maybe the cough and the fatigue, you were feeling really, really good compared to the first several days. And so we all had that experience. So that was a really, really good thing. I ended up getting very similar symptoms to my husband, even though I feel like he kind of got the brunt of it. I did have a sore throat, a headache back here. I did have the congestion. I had the chills. I ended up getting the fever, a little bit of the nausea, not too much stomach distress like I had had when I had had the Omicron one. So I was one of the ones who dealt really, really badly with some stomach GI stuff when I had the Omicron one a couple of years ago, not the original one, but the I got one after that. So this one right here, I just had a little bit of nausea to the point where like food wasn't sitting really great for a few days. And so just drinking cold water was like my best friend. In fact, for all of us, we were all really, really just like dehydrated, like needing water. And that's probably because of the fever and obviously the congestion and everything. So that was definitely something that helped every single one of us. But after probably about day three, four, five, we were all feeling so much better. Now, 
every one of us got a cough. So it does go into the chest and it goes into the chest pretty fast. At least that was the case for us. My husband's cough was raspy. Mine was more of that tight chest dry cough for several days where it was kind of like, <laughs> and then my, my son right now, he actually has a really raspy cough still that he's kind of working through, even though he's feeling so much better. And I can really tell you from start to finish, it's maybe seven days, like seven days for each of us. It's like clockwork. It was like seven days, seven days, seven days. My mom has it right now, which we were hoping and praying she wasn't going to get because she has these sensitive little lungs. She did end up getting it, sadly, and she's dealt with the fatigue, the sore throat, the congestion, just not feeling good at all. However, she has not really gotten the cough yet. And so we're really hoping that she's not going to, because like I said, she's got sensitive little lungs. So she's a little more receptive to getting maybe bronchitis or pneumonia. And so that was a little bit of a, a fear that we had for her, but so far she's doing really, really good. And in fact, I talked to her this morning and she said, my oxygen is going up because she had been monitoring her oxygen to kind of see where she's at. And so again, it kind of came on pretty fast for her but she's healing up pretty fast as well. And so I'm hoping that will just continue to be the case. And I am really glad that we got this in the summer while the sun is shining, while we can kind of still be outside in the backyard, because I don't even feel like it's something that you can do is even if you just sit out there for five minutes and let the sun kind of soak in on you and get some of that vitamin D for a minute and get out there and kind of let it like naturally drain your sinuses and stuff. So helpful than when you have to be cooped inside of a house in the winter time, like we are often when we get sick here in Castle for Wyoming and then it just takes so much longer for the body to heal. So just the fact that we have the sunshine to kind of help um, accelerate the process has been huge. As far as medication, I do know that they say that there is some COVID medications out there. Like if you catch it soon enough, you can go to your doctor and maybe there's some medication they can give to you, especially if you're somebody who's high risk. We've never tried that medication before. Um, the things that we typically take when we've had the COVID and even this particular strain is as Tylenol it seems to be the best. And then of course, Mucinex. Um, I would say Mucinex for sure. So I like to do the liquid. The guys like to do the pill form. Um, really, we only had to do it for a couple of days and that seemed to help immensely. I think I did one of the Sudafed PEs. It's the one that you signed for. I did that one day when I was extremely congested and that really, really seemed to help. Again, whenever you're taking the Mucinex or the Sudafeds, um, you're gonna wanna drink a lot of cold water or just water in general to stay hydrated, to keep everything loosened. And so just between the Tylenol and the Mucinex, that helped us a ton. Again, I know that there's probably a few other things out there though, that maybe you could ask your doctor or ask the pharmacy and they could definitely tell you what to use that would maybe help you. But I just wanted to share our experience with you. And again, if you have any comments that you want to put in the comment section, because you have it, you know, somebody who has it and just anything that people can kind of expect, because I think people want to know. I truly do. I mean, even if it is just a cold or flu or COVID or whatever it is, obviously people want to know like, okay, what can I expect if I get this? Or what can I expect if my loved one gets this? That's why we make these videos. That's why we talk about it is so that we can just help one another to get through this and just kind of navigate through it. And we know what to expect. And Honestly, every strain of the COVID has been a little bit different, just as colds and flus are always a little different. And as of the first one, we all lost our taste. We all lost our smell. Like I said, with the Omicron one, I did end up getting bronchitis. I had to get a drip IV. So I did end up getting pretty sick from that one. But one of the things that I remember the most from the Omicron was is that I ended up with such GI distress. And so I had, it was multi symptoms for me with that particular strain. And it took a while for my stomach to get back on track after having that particular one. And then this one, obviously, um, what I can say is a little bit different is that it does come across as a pretty good, like flu, like a nice, like steady, like just flu, you know, you get it when you don't expect it at all. And next thing you're, you know, you're like, Oh, I don't feel good. Whereas, you know, sometimes the cold, you'll get like a little sneeze and you'll get some like little like symptoms up until you get like sick. This one feels like it's just like, boom, you got it. And so for me, I would have to say it's just really, really 
fast moving and that was the difference of it and the onset of the symptoms and then obviously um, how fast you recover. Um, so that would be something that I noticed that's a little bit different. But anyways, if you have anything you wanna share, please put it in the comment section. And if you are sick or you know somebody who is sick and has it right now, I pray for a speedy recovery for you. And hopefully we can just get this out of the way, like I said, before the cold, cold winter hits. And then we can go into the winter and we can be like, I already dealt with that and I'm glad it's done and over. And so anyways, prayers for good health and God bless. Have a good day. Bye.